Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm back to work on the greenhouse today. I got the capper blocks for the top of the blocks. I'll show you those. Here's a look at the blocks that'll sit on top of the, the wall here and then the greenhouse frame will sit on top of these. So yeah, that's what they'll look like. I've got to figure out the spacing. I may have to cut some. I think these are nine by 18, I believe. So yeah, I might have a bit of fitting work to do. And I'll have to run some strings to make sure I get this top flight nice and square, parallel and level. I've got the load of the capper blocks in the truck here on top of a skid. So I've got to unload those into the wheelbarrow, take them to the backyard and kind of arrange them on top of the wall. Yesterday I was going to start a video on my pine over here, my Austrian pine. I was going to do the needle thinning and some branch pruning kind of get the branches exposed to the light so I can get some back budding. This year it's been uh, just let to grow nice and full and gain all kinds of energy. So it's pretty vigorous right now. It's really dense. But I was so tired from doing the cement blocks that I just thought, well, I better take a day off. I I'm still sore and tired from doing all those blocks. It's hard work doing that. So, yeah, I can, uh, I'll probably just try and lay out the capper blocks today and run my strings across so I can get them in the right position. And that's probably all I'll do on it today. I won't start the cement work today or the mortar work. I'll save that for tomorrow. There's a look at the topper blocks. So I'm going to have to cut two, the one in the middle here, right here, and the one down there to make it fit. There's just no way to fit them in. So yeah, that's not too bad a job. Yeah, so I'll definitely have to run some strings down here to get them all straight and parallel. My wall's a little uneven, so hopefully I can compensate by, you know, this layer. It is the afternoon now. So I calculated how much pea gravel I need to fill this up and I got some extra to put around the edges here to fill in the sides. That's, they sell it by the cubic yard. So I got two cubic yards and they'll be in Thursday or Friday. So in a, in a couple of days, uh, it comes in a big bag. Uh, they weigh, each cubic yard is about 3000 pounds. So pretty heavy. I could probably carry half a yard in my truck and make four trips, but it comes in this big bag and it, they bring it around. So that'll be coming in. And then I ordered the instruction manual to put the greenhouse together. So she's gonna send me the PDF of that. I'm getting the glazing for the glass. It's a putty that's on like a tape strip. So you peel the backing off, stick it to the frames and then put the glass in. So that is coming. I ordered it. Uh, I ordered two benches for the greenhouse. It didn't come with the benches, so there's aluminum benches that run each side of the greenhouse. So I've ordered those and they kind of have like an aluminum mesh on top. So they'll be really good. And that's about all I need now. Um, the place I got these pavers from here, the top ones, uh, they will do the cuts for me. So I've just got to lay this out accurately and then I'll just make a cut on this one to make it fit. And same with the one down here, I'll make a cut. Yeah, so that's exciting. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is get stakes in here and get my string lines for the rows of these top uh, capping blocks. So I wanna get them all lined up perfectly so they're horizontal and nice and straight. So I may be doing that another day. I don't think I'll do that tonight uh, because we're supposed to get rain coming, so yeah. But the project is slowly coming together. I'll be excited to get that instruction manual because that is going to help out with assembly a lot, knowing how to put it together. I'm in the greenhouse now, and do you remember those mystery seeds? I wasn't sure what they were. Well, Andrew, who sent me the, the lithops and the pencil cactus, he is the one who sent me those seeds. He says they're hibiscus seeds. They're uh, the native hibiscus for Hawaii, I believe, yeah. 
And uh, so that's what they are, hibiscus, which is really exciting because that is going to be awesome to have some beautiful hibiscus. And I think they have the yellow flowers on them, which is cool. My Frank Yee cork bark jade cuttings. There's another one here that's exploded in new growth, which is really exciting. Uh, some of them are just coming along now. One still looks kind of miserable, but all the rest are doing okay. So I'm hoping for good things on those. Here's an update to the fiddle leaf fig or ficus lyrata. You can see it back there. It's getting all kinds of new leaves on it now. So that's good. The Sarissa is still doing well in its new pot. I keep misting it. I give it a mist right now. There we go. Keep it happy. Yeah, it's doing well. I'll, uh, I'll keep babying it uh, until it starts growing with a lot of vigor. Then I know the roots are really growing fast and it's doing really well. So yeah, it seems to be getting new growth on it now. All over here, you can see the tiny leaves. All the older leaves are still kind of going yellow and falling off, so. But it's doing well. I'm uh, pleased. Pleased with the repotting and the look of the new pot. And I did some good root work on it, so I'm really happy with the look of the root base. I think it's just really cool. My silver maples that I cut back hard are doing really well. You can see how they've grown in. The leaves are very large on them. But yeah, I just cut them off. There's no leaves on them. Just kind of a basic trunk chop and they've grown in really nicely. Recovered and looking good. My ficus cutting of a cutting is starting to fill in again. There's a look at it. The scars are starting to heal. That's looking quite nice. My giant sequoia seedlings here are doing really well. They're getting branches on them. I think I counted like 22 of them or something. I have a lot now. Yeah, they're looking really good. So I'll have to protect them well over the winter. Not let them get too cold. My Natal ficus here is starting to fill in up top getting a bit of a canopy on it. It's not really thick yet, but it's getting there. I'm happy. It's really undergone dramatic changes from when I first got it. It was kind of a cascade tree with a really poor root base. So it's come a long way. My ficus religiosa that I pruned recently has got buds coming out all over it. So it's looking good. Won't be too much longer before it's back in leaf. That'll be nice to see. My apple tree has grown well since its last pruning. Here's the base of it, the side of it. This is the left side view. But you can see how it's grown, very tall. So that'll need a pruning once the leaves have dropped. I'll prune it back, get it ready for spring. My lemon tree here is filling in up top. Looking quite nice. And the grapefruit tree beside it is also doing really well. Looking good. The grasses that David gave me are looking really nice. You can see them here planted in, uh, that's in Wayne's pot. Yeah, looking cool. The fern here, I repotted that into one of Wayne's pots too. It's looking really nice. When I was at the thrift store yesterday, I found this Buddha statue that I bought. Thought that was pretty cool. My Norfolk Island forest has grown quite well this summer. Got a lot of new foliage on it. So that will need pruning soon. And it's looking nice and healthy. The wisteria that David gave me here is doing really well. It's growing up, up and out. <laughs> yeah, it's growing really well. I'm happy to have that. There's a monarch butterfly on the flowers over here. You can see it there. Oh, off it, there it is. 
So that'll probably be starting its voyage to Mexico soon, I would think. In a while, anyway. These flowers, they grow really tall, but the insects really love them. There's like mason bees all over them. Honeybees, just everything on them, which is good. I sure am gonna love this greenhouse when it's done. It's gonna be fantastic. To pick up these greenhouse benches, I'm going to have to drive about an hour and a quarter in the truck to get them. So it'll be quite a test for the truck. I've never taken it on that long a drive before. So it should be fun too. Well, I'm glad I didn't get too far in the greenhouse because we have thunderstorm warnings tonight. And it's getting very, very dark out. So my cube here is, yeah, it's just above the halfway mark. So I'm hoping it fills up a bit tonight. I don't know if I'll need, you know, a whole lot of water for the rest of the summer, but, or fall, but it doesn't hurt to have it full. So I'm hoping I don't end up with a swimming pool here. Hopefully it won't fill up with water. And I've got all my succulents in the greenhouse. I knew it was going to rain, so... You can see the whole floor is covered in succulents here. I got all my baobabs in. So everything's secure in here. I did water my trees today. Yeah, I did water all my trees and fertilize them today, but I guess it'll just get flushed out with the rain. So that's why I fertilize a bit every time I water. So tomorrow, after this rain, any fertilizer that was in the water will get flushed out. And then tomorrow I'll water and fertilize again to replace that fertilizer that's flushed out of the soil. So the rain's coming down pretty hard. I'm gonna head inside. So that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me today in the Bonsai Zone.